We are like Andrex toilet paper. We're on a roll. We have not lost in probably about nine games, maybe something like that. I'm not quite sure, but we're doing ever so well. Had some incredible results off screen. Today's games are Livorno and Fiorentina in the Coppa Italia. We drew against them in a league game earlier in the season. You saw that live. So let's try and get a win here at home in the cup. That's what we're going to try today. And we're looking very nice. We're in second place. We're four points off top, and we're four points clear of third place. So automatic promotion, automatic promotion could be a thing, and I really want it to be third season in Serie B. I want promotion now. So let's see how we do in today's episode of Palmer from the Ashes. So we've been doing incredibly well, but I really hope that this doesn't completely turn to shit in this episode. Livorno and Fiorentina are the games. They're both at home. One's in the league, one is in the Team Cup. So we'll see if we can progress in that competition. This is the um, joint furthest we've got. We've never got past the fourth qualifying round. So we're going to try and get into the actual first round proper next time round. That's what we'll, if we can beat uh, Fiorentina. That's what we get. So uh, we're looking very nice in the league, as you can see there, we're in second place. As I said, we are four points off top, four points clear of third place. So we're looking okay so far. Off screen, as you can see, we uh, were unbeaten in the four games, including that 5-1 one you can see there. I'll go through that very shortly. Last episode, we did win both of our life comes a 1-0 win against Albino Leffi and a 2-0 win against Pisa, even though we had 10 men for most of that match. But really good. So as you can see, four games off screen, three wins and one draw. So uh, we are unbeaten in nine league games. So that's nice. Started off with a 3-1 win at home against Vicenza. There it is. Um, they had a lot of shots compared to us. More shots on target. But as you can see there, Matteo Bigeri had an absolute stormer in goal. 9.3 he rated. 10 shots on target. He saved all bar one, it seems. Incredible performance by him. 9.3 is just... Um, I, I don't think I've seen a bigger keeper rating than that. I think that's the best goalkeeper rating I've seen. And he had some suspect games at the start of the season, but he really came through for us in this game. Uh, took the lead through uh, Minala, 36th minute. Got a couple of goals for me in these off-screen games. So that's nice to see our midfielder scoring. He wanted more first-team football. We gave it to him in this game because Botta uh, was um, a little, still a little bit tired. But he scored. Vicenza D equalised not long after that. Galano in the 38th minute. But then Galliano, just add a little letter in there, and uh, you get our player. He scored to make it 2-1. So that's three goals there in, in the space of about six minutes to, uh, to make it 2-1. And then late in the second half, Selva put it beyond any doubt with a third goal for us. 83rd minute and made it 3-1. Just a great, great performance. Really good. Three goals. Uh, we had a draw against Medina. A bit disappointing because Medina were quite low in the league. I think they were in 20th place. And um, we took the lead, Cherry getting a goal, hasn't hadn't scored in a few games before that this game, and he made it 1-0. Inglese did get an equaliser for Medina in the second half, and then not long after that they went down to 10, Popescu getting a uh, red card. But just wanted we could win this game, couldn't win this game, but we did get a, a decent draw, so that's alright. But against lower opposition, we should really have won. Then we had the 5-1 win against Palermo, and I think this is our best performance. I know you can see there's two, two own goals there, but I think this is our best performance throughout the whole save. Not just this season, but I think this is the best this team has performed in this save. Incredible stuff. First goal came in 15 seconds. I tweeted about this game. Galliano scored in 15, I think it was 14 seconds, the quickest goal we've ever had. First minute. And then we made it 2-0, or rather Monte Leone did their right back scoring an own goal. And then we made it 3-0, Sabi only scoring on the 44th minute, a goal for a defensive midfielder, quite rare. And then another own goal, just before half-time, the 45th minute, Toscano scoring an own goal. So two, two defenders there with a horrible performance, all their back defenders, apart from Martina actually, didn't really do much. <laughs> well, they did, they scored own goals. Uh, in the second half, not after the restart, Sanabria scored for Palermo, pulling one goal back for them. At that point, I did realise, you know, we were 4-0 up, we could end up being 4-4 and we'd do an Arsenal against Newcastle. But that didn't happen. Uh, only the one goal for them. And uh, Cherry did score a fifth for uh, Palmer, 73rd minute, to make it 5-1. And it was really a five-star performance. 
And in the final game against bottom club Salernitana, it was a 2 0 win away from home. Uh, Manala with his second goal of the season, and Galliano doubling the lead uh, halfway through the second half in a game where we didn't have as many shots as them. We didn't have as much of the ball as them. It was very level though. But a decent, uh, you know, a solid defensive effort, and everyone did their job really. Arriva had a bit of a quiet game in the left of uh, midfield. We took him off and brought on uh, Dimo Feta. But a nice win, 2 0 away from home. We can't really complain. We're looking very, very nice at the moment. One of those games as well, I did have to switch and bring Sartovic in as a uh, cam because we've got a bit of an issue with our strikers at the moment, as you'll soon see. But we might be okay now. I'm not sure if they're all back. So the first of today's games against Livorno at home. So what the team looks like. This is what we played last time around. Barlocco is unfortunately injured. Well, I don't know about unfortunately. But he had a hamstring injury, so Rizzo is a left back. And we did also have uh, Koliak unavailable for one game, so we only had one available left back. But uh, as well as that, Cherry is also injured. He's going to be up for a couple of weeks more at least with a twisted ankle, so that's a shame. But we do now have uh, Simon Selva back. But um, this um, formation has been working okay at the moment, so I'm going to stay with it. But we will bring um, we will bring Selva, Selva back onto the bench. We'll get Zanin off. No, we'll get Trigini off. But yeah, I think that is going to be it. We'll stay with this because it's working. And we'll keep the formation and all the tactics and everything. So let's just see if we can continue this form and go on beating for a 10th game. And then I've been going for cautious team talks as well. They've, uh, they've been working. So I said, we've been on a good run lately. So go out there and impress me. And you see, all the players, apart from Sajovic, who has missed a few games. This is only his uh, second start this season. Everyone rating over 7 in their past 5 games. So we are on a terrific run of form. Really are. Against Livorno today, who are down in 11th place. We were six behind Carpi for a very long time, but um, they have dropped some points recently, so that's good. We could still get top spot, but there's still a long way to go in this league. And we've just made a horrible mistake there in the 10th minute. Miguel Borgia has scored. I'm going to take a drink very quickly. So that was uh, Borgia, and then. Oh, it was Kozic. What a surprise. Put it right into the path of the attack of the attacking player. Not good. Okay, we are over half an hour in. We haven't had a shot yet. What's going on, guys? I'm going attacking. Uh, show me something else in the second half. That was not good. Kozic is on a 5.8. Come on, guys. That's going to be half cha half time change straight away. I'll leave all that as it is. Second half. Come on, score a couple of goals and let's just continue this run. Because to mess it up now would be stupid. Actually, Carpi losing as well, so this isn't too bad. Carpi also losing. Fiorentina, I think, have got a draw so far, where they're drawing. But there's still plenty of time. But we've had one shot. What is going on, guys? This isn't working. I'm not sure what's happening here today. Uh, Galliano's having an awful game. Sarge, which has been very quiet. So uh, we're going to do this. We're going to put Galliano as a uh, poacher. And we're going to get Selva on for Sarjevic and try and change it around a bit and go for two strikers. And we're gonna go sort of we're gonna go more direct and go for a higher tempo. There's still about twenty minutes left, but this has not been a good game so far. And now they're on the attack again on that right wing. Giordano takes it past uh, Rizzo and hits the post as their player there, Borgia, I think it was. And Nuno's clearance didn't really go to anybody. But we've only had five shots in this game. This has not been good. We need to make one more change. Who's it gonna be though? We're just gonna go all out, we're just gonna put another striker up there. Haven't really been for any highlights in this game. Only maybe two in the whole game. 86 minute though. We do have the ball here. I think this is the first time I've seen, us, seen our players on the ball when we've lost it. That didn't last very long. And wins the ball there. Good stuff. Here's Zanin to Selva. Four minutes left or three and a half. Arami's on the ball. This could be the one chance that we've seen for us to uh, get an equaliser here and continue our run, beat and run. And Minala. Oh, he wins it that back there though. Good recovery. Newlands to do a so. Come on, get across in there. Come on. Aramu. And, oh. Too tight of an angle there. And that might have been our last chance. Only one shot on target. That's terrible. And our amazing unbeaten run is going to come to a crashing halt. Yep, yeah, there it is. Absolutely shit. Home and defeat. Uh, aggressive. That was awful. That was so, so bad. But Carpi lost 2-1. Uh, Fiorentina, did they lose in the end? They did. They lost at home. So, really, it's as you were there. Nothing really has changed because of that defeat. So, I'm not really that bothered. 
The only thing that, that changes that is that we're now ended our nine game unbeaten run. Fans devastated, yeah. Um, Kozic was awful. He was at massive fault for the goal. Okay, whatever. And Gallagher, I know, had an awful game. Oh, shut up. Oh, there we go. He's sorry now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we had to pay Simic. We had to pay Milan £9,000 because he's finally played in 50 league games. So I suppose like he's been with us for ages. I suppose he has. Yeah, we, I think we, we loaned him in our first season. So he's been with us for a while. Not going to do a press conference. Well, I did well, but not on screen. Okay, let's pick it up. And we're going to beat Fiorentina in the cup in our next game. Okay, Kupitz wants to discuss a lack of first-team football. Uh, I don't think he's good enough for anymore, so if there's an option for that, I'll say that. If someone's supposed to be a key part of your side, I haven't been getting, getting anywhere near as much football as I like. You need to prove to me that you deserve a chance in the first team. Okay. Improvement in training? Oh, okay. I'm your manager and you need to start respecting my decisions. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's good enough for us anymore. We haven't, well, we haven't seen him much this season, though, have we? One start and one appearance from the bench. In the past, he's had some really nice games, but I don't know what I don't know if you, if, if he's like sort of going to be good for us anymore. The rating doesn't really suggest. The rating does sort of agree with me that it's two and a half stars. His attributes aren't really on the decrease at all, though, are they? Recently, see his performances have been. Well, his, his development has still been okay, but I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> Okay, we're into the uh, Coppa Italia. We win this, and we've got Juventus in the next round. We're Juventus, who have won the... I know they came third last season, but they won, what, seven Serie A titles in a row. That's going to be fun. I'd love to have a game against Juventus, though. Imagine the money that would bring in. That would be nice. But uh, let's see if we can win this match first of all. We've got to beat Fiorentina before we can do that. One thing that's happening is that uh, Joris Kozic is being dropped, and Simic is going to start. And... When's our next game? We play again on Saturday against the leaders, Carpi. So I feel like we need to make rotation in this match. So Botta is going to come on for Manala. We're going to put Kofi Gui on for Sabioni. Right. Uh, this is going to be a risk, but Koliakko is coming on at left back. But I think everything else will be okay. Uh, I'm going to go for two strikers as well. This uh, attacking midfielder thing didn't work last time. So we'll have Selva as the deep line forward. Galeano as a Trekatista. Let's give it a go. Uh, we'll try as hard as we can. Uh, not too bothered about the cut, but it'd be nice to get as far as we can. Uh, give the fans something to cheer today. There we go. And you know, a game, a, a game against Juve would be great. Oh look, the bloody table's gone again. Oh, there, there is no table. It's a cup game. <laughs> okay, I take it back. But hopefully, we do get it back for the next game. But, um, yeah, this. <laughs> This is a cup game, that's why there's no table, Andy, you idiot. Free kick here, Newlands takes it. And Botter's in the header, and 11 minutes in, we've got a goal, it's 1 0. Great header by Stefano Botter, the captain, comes back into the squad and does that. Really nice. And the free kick by Newlands was great. Um, it wasn't a free kick, sorry, it was a half volley, still very nice. And that's 1 0. Okay, it's 1 1. Gal Kakuta just scored about, well, less than a minute after. Great. Gal Kakuta, of all people. Alan with the cross. I mean, those guys there, those two people there, didn't close them down. Koliakko didn't get to his man either, so that's not that's unfortunate. But I don't know how good Koliakko is. I think we're going to sell him soon. I think we won't be seeing him more, much more than we are at the moment. In fact, you know what? I bet we have tighter marking on. Let's try that. Maybe that's the problem. That pe people are getting away from the defenders. Maybe tighter marking is the option. Botter to uh, Aramu, does work to get there, but he does so, Koliakko, nice ball to Selva actually, can the cross come in, Galeano's on there, has a shot, 2-1, very nice, and we're, we are leading, and that match against Juventus, 
could well be happening. And if that is the case, then they'll probably live comment if uh, it's not sort of in the next game or whatever. We'll see. Half time, we're 2 1 up. Doing well, so keep it up. That was kind of a rhyme, except I said the word up twice. So I'm not sure if rhyming counts if you use the same word twice. I think that's just that's repetition, if anything. I don't know, I wasn't very good at English at school. Dropped it after AS level. I got an E, I think. Okay, so far so good. We are 2 1 up. Hasn't haven't seen a highlight yet this half, so that's probably a good thing. Um action areas as well. We're having a lot more of the ball. Fiorentina have not had the ball in our half yet, but until now. So we're looking very nice at the moment. I'm I'm uh, pleased with how this is going. Also, Fiorentina aren't winning Serie B. For, uh, you know, as I said, they are too good to be in this league. Aramu, it's a goal. 3-1. Interrupted me with a goal, but I don't care. As I was saying, um, Fiorentina are probably too good to be in this league. I mean, they're in Serie B. That's just really strange to be saying that. And we're beating them 3-1 as well. This is very nice stuff. But switch up to control. We don't need to counter if we're having most of the ball. So I'm going to go up to counter. I'm going to regret this now, aren't I? Oh, it's Juan Carl. Juan Carl's back. I only saw him two episodes ago, but he's back here again. And the pass by Kakuta there did not reach anybody. 20 minutes left. Only hold on, guys. Come on. I haven't made any changes yet. I should probably do that. Uh, we're going to get Aramu off. Um, do you know what? Cooper's won some game time, so let's put him on here. And um, we're going to get Galliano off. And we're going to put on Zanin. Come on, get a goal. Let's get a goal for one of the kids here. 82 minutes now. Going defensive for the last few minutes. Hold on. 3 1 be very nice. And it looks like we're going to have a game against Juventus in the uh, very near future. Juan Carr up down the right-hand side here. Finds Kakuta and the ball is blocked. Uh, Kakuta has a shot, but it was a save by Bigeri. And into injury time almost. There's only two minutes, so surely that's not enough time for Fiorentina to come back into this. And there could be a counter-attack on the cards here. Zanin's on the ball. He's got players to his right and to left. He holds on to it, though. Good ball to do so. Not quite really. But do so, can he make a cross? He doesn't. Mario Suarez makes the tackle. And... Uh, do so goes down, waste time. Twenty, what? Twenty-two, ninety-two minutes played. Full time imminent. There it is. Three-one. Good bounce back from the uh, defeat against Livorno, and uh, we do have a Tim Cup first round tie with Juventus coming up. That will be a lot of fun, or maybe not, because they'll probably beat us like six-nil. We take the spoils, and there it is. Parma get Juventus in Tim Cup. It's going to be at their stadium as well. So. That would be a lot of fun. And we've got either Genoa or Medina in the quarterfinal if we somehow beat Juventus. Aramu, nice performance by him, winning all of his tackles, good passing, and he got a goal to his name. So, much better performance than the previous game. We've lost our unbeaten run, but that's not too bad. And we're doing well in the Cup. So, in terms of what the board think, that's very good, I think, because they wanted us to get to that stage, and we have done. Competition performance, Tim Cup. Expected to get to the fourth qualifying round, which we've done, and we've passed that and reached the first round of the first round proper of the cup. And we're looking very well, looking very good in the league as well. So coming up, we got that Juventus game. So I think next time we will be playing that, and we'll have a game, a game against Brescia. Do I want to do that? Right, what I'm going to do, I do want to play that Juventus game because it's a bit, it's, you know, it's a big deal. But I faced Brescia in the season opener, so I'm going to play Juventus. I will skip Brescia. And I'll play Barre. Or I might do all three. It depends on what I want to do. But we'll see. Um, but I definitely want to play that Juventus game. So there will only be three games off screen. Uh, and then we'll see if we can play three games. Depends on time, really. But if not, I'll play Juventus. I'll play Barre. And we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we can do against Juventus at their stadium. Probably lose badly. But it, it's going to be fun. We should hopefully get a lot of income from it as well. So that'll be very nice. And we have a winter break coming up as well. Yes, so after the Barry game, uh, we've got a winter break, and then we come back and face Lanciano. So there might be some signings in there as well, sort of after the next episode. Might be some more signings coming in, we'll see. But um, very happy with that. 3-1 win, we've got a good uh, cut run going at the moment, so that's very nice. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'm not sure what's happened, but likes have sort of diminished in the past few days. As of subs, I haven't had a new sub for a few days, which is <laughs> not great, but never mind. Not the end of the world. Um, leave in the comments you want to make as well. Some comments are always really positive. Keeps me going to so do that. And you know, if you enjoyed it, if you, if you want to see more, drop us up. So do that, please, because I've been on 169 for a good few days now. It feels like forever. And I want to try and get to 200 in the next few weeks. That's what I'm aiming for. 200 subs by 
I don't know, sort of by sort of by June, I want to get. I would say maybe let's give it a go. Let's let's see if we can push to 200 subs by June. But no, decent performance. We lost the first game, which is the shame. We lost our unbeaten run, but a good 3-1 against Fiorentina. And then join me next time where we're going to be facing Juventus. That'll be a lot of fun, I think. Probably not for me. I'm going to lose badly, but we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tune in next time for the next episode, and I'll see you for that in the next one. Goodbye. That outro was a mess, I'm sorry. <laughs>